we're here with Bivef Kataka today. Can you tell us what the name of your company is and where you're based? Right, so I'm the founder and CEO of Close Cross. At Close Cross, we provide collective prediction markets, which is an alternative to the traditional financial derivatives and the old school prediction markets. So essentially what people do is they make predictions on where the asset pricing will be in a future point in time. So it can be a stock index, it can be a stock, it can be a commodity or foreign exchange or even crypto. Uh, the people are making predictions of where it will be, up or down, by how much. And then it's a people-to-people -people market. So we are a platform. We do not buy or sell anything. But people go and make predictions where we put collective, all of them into one smart contract. And at the maturity time, we know who got it right, who got it wrong, and the money is redistributed between them. Okay. Um, so what's your interested, interest in being at the summit here today? That's right. So Malta is very close to my heart. I should say the regulators are um, very open-minded in terms of understanding how different technologies can run the same processes as were done before and provide the same output to the users. This is very, very important. And this is very rare to find. Right? So it's not just that they are pro-business, but they have the talent to understand what this space is about. Right, and that's very important. So that is why we are here. I think it's important to connect to the local community, which is what we are doing here, as well as to represent our company. Okay, so I imagine you're quite familiar with the regulatory framework on blockchain. Can you tell me a little bit more about it and how do you think it's beneficial to blockchain companies based here? Okay, so I mean the regulatory framework here which is applicable to the blockchain space is pretty, pretty wide. Okay, so it depends what kind of company you are, then it depends which kind of regulations you're going to go for. But the good thing is that everything is being catered for, which means uh, if it falls under, let's say, the VFA regulation, then you can actually go and get a license. If it, it falls under some other traditional financial license, then they're willing to understand how you're utilizing the blockchain technologies and still gain those licenses. And then there is a set of people who are saying, hey, this does not qualify as one or two, but how do we go about it still? Because we want to prove our credibility. So what the MDIA allows you to do, essentially saying, now you can prove how your smart contracts, your infrastructure, your capabilities are actually making sure that the customer is not at a disadvantage. So you can then get an MDIA certification along multiple different variables that gives you the right to tell the world that this has been looked at, this has been audited, and we are a safe company to work with. Okay, so um, you mentioned a couple of challenges that for companies may face what do you think the future um, for blockchain and Malta holds and how do you think that um, companies will benefit off of um, future developments? So I cannot predict where the future will be in terms of the regulatory environment. Right now what we see is it's extremely enabling. Right? So I don't see challenges for the companies in this phase right now. It's actually very enabling. This is why you see big companies moving here. This is why you see a creation of an ecosystem where everybody is here with complementary skills and different uh, capabilities so that we can work together and create new businesses. So I don't see any challenges right now, but it will be important for Malta to maintain that lead that they have. That might be a challenge for the country as a whole. And that's very important. That comes right from the senior leadership. And this, as long as you maintain that, it should be fine. So the company should not have a challenge as long as they want to do a good business with a proper setup, they want to be regulatory and compliant, they should find a very suitable home here. Great. And lastly, what do you think of the summit so far? I think the summit's been great. I think there are lots of people, there's a lot of energy here, uh, which is what we always appreciate when we go to these conferences as well, uh, because it's as much about us going out to the people, but the people coming to us as well. Right? So I think it's a very good uh, environment here this time around as well. And we hope to be back next year. Thank you very much for your time.